students welcome to code crash coding in the previous video we have learnt about how to create a table from the python application inside the database and how to insert a record a single record as well as multiple records in a single go into a table so this is the, our database mydb and inside this mydb there is a table called student and this was the data that we have inserted from the python application and from with the help of a select query which is the select statement it is used to read the values from the database so we have seen whatever data we have inserted that is available inside this table but we have seen in the mysql workbench now with the help of this sql statement we will be able to see the data in our python application so how to do this so before that we already know the four steps to establish the connection first one is import the mysql connector then create the connection object then creating the cursor object i will provide the link in the description for the detailed explanation of all these steps now and the last step is to execute the query now let's execute the query so how to execute a query Cre with the help of a cursor object then execute and then we will have the same execute sql statement that we have seen here select star from which is our table name so we will copy paste this statement and we need to pass it inside the inverted commas so this is our sql query now once we get this execute query so we will get some data inside this cursor object so in python python provides the fetch all method which is used to return the data stored inside the table in the form of rows now we need to get that particular data from this cursor object so here you need to say cursor dot fetch all so this is the method that is used to fetch all the data from the table and we need to store it inside some variable so let's say result is the name of variable you can provide any name so this data is currently available inside our result and we need to get that data so let's say print result print result now let's save this code and run now so see we are getting here output which is in the form of a list and inside that we are getting the data which is available inside the table which is john which is the name then roll number 10 then the another record which is tom 20 then third sam 30 then sam 30 abc 40 and xyz 50 so this is the way with the help of which the data is displayed another way you can display this result is using a for loop which will be in this format so for any variable name let's say x in result and then we will print x print x let's save it and run notice the difference now so here we are getting the data in a different format here we are getting the data in the form of a tuple and each record we are getting on a new line which is john 10 then tom 20 sam 30 sam 30 abc 40 which is the same data that is available inside our database for that particular table which is student so we have seen how to display the data inside our python application itself now let's say you want only one record which is the first record inside the table so that can also be done with the help of fetch one method instead of using the fetch all method you can use fetch one method so how to get it fetch one if i say this now we will get only one record see we are getting only one record which is the first one john 10 here you can see john and the roll number value is 10 that record we are getting here now let's say inside the database we have two records for the sam now what i want to do i want to find the data only of the student which is having the name sam so there are two students which are having the name sam so with the help of where clause inside the sql query if you have the knowledge of sql queries then you know where is used to filter our data so how to execute that particular statement so here you can filter the data now with the help of select star we are getting all the data now here i will filter it with where clause select star from student where name is equal to sam so now only we will get that particular data where name is sam so let me say yes sam so name will be sam then here we will say fetch all 
because we want all the data here fetch all whatever is available inside the cursor we will fetch all and then we will print that particular result so we should get two two datas now means two entries see we are getting two entries sam30 sam30 because in our database we have two entries here for the name sam now let's see if i change the value here when name is equal to xyz so we will get only one value because only one student is having the name xyz so see xyz with roll number 50.